join the fun. It's time to play Fandango. And now here comes the guy with the smile and the questions. Please welcome Bill Anderson. Thank you for joining us. I didn't have anything better to do for the next half hour either, and I'm glad you don't. Oh, I hope you were with us on our last show. We gave it all away. A young man from Indianapolis came down and is on his way down to the Caribbean courtesy of Fandango. So we got three new players. Nobody's a champion, but we're going to crown one. Jerry, how you doing? Fine. Hi, Bill. My name's Jerry Quick. I'm from Tail City, Indiana, and I'm an aluminum worker. Now, the last two winners we've had have been from Indiana, but uh, I, I haven't heard tell of Tail City. Where is that? Tell City's about 50 miles from Evansville. Oh, I see. Well, we had a winner from Evansville, one from Indianapolis. Maybe third time's a charm for you. I hope Good so. luck. We're glad to have you down here. With my luck, you've got a husband 10 feet tall who hates game show hosts. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy, tell me about you. Hi, Bill. My name is Chrissy Efforts. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm a student at Belmont College. Chrissy Everett? Efforts. I've heard that name. Oh. Not tennis. <laughs> oh, the, a different one. Yeah. Uh, and you're from Kansas City? Well, good mm -hmm. to have you down here in Nashville. Much good luck. Do you say you go to school here? Yes, I do. What are you majoring in over there? Music business. Well, good luck. You ought to know a lot about it. You've come to the right place. Ben, how are you doing? How are you, Bill? I'm Ben Kitchens. I'm from Macon, Georgia, and I'm a construction worker. I've heard of good old Macon, Georgia. We'll say howdy to everybody watching in Macon. All right, Ben, Chrissy, and Jerry. We've got Georgia, Missouri, and Indiana. Pick out your favorite and come back. We'll be back in a couple of days. Companies never gonna change their macaroni and cheese to cheese and macaroni. They don't have to. I started my own company. Katie's Cheese and Macaroni. Yep, and it's free or cheesy. Taste it. But Kraft is the cheesiest. Are you sure this isn't Kraft Cheese and Macaroni? Kraft Macaroni and Cheese has more cheese than any other brand. That's why it tastes the best. I thought so. Kraft Cheese and Macaroni, the cheesiest. And when the search for a truly mild soap ended, there was pure and natural, and nothing else. Pure and gentle. Pure and mild. Pure and natural. Through and through. It's the pure and mild soap for you. Pure and natural, and nothing else. TNN's third anniversary celebration continues with April Showers of Stars and Specials. Wednesday, April 16th, Hank Williams Jr. invites the Forrester sisters, Brandy Travis and Pam Tillis, to join him on Hank Williams Jr. and Friends. Thursday, the 17th, Charlie Pride hosts a very special concert featuring Janie Fricky, Larry Gatlin, Alabama, and more. It's Hats Off to Country. Then Saturday, the 19th, it's George Strait, in concert, straight from the heart of Texas. Tuesday, the 22nd, you'll get a rare and intimate look into the lives of the Mandrell sisters and family. Wednesday, April 23rd, it's an hour of powerful performance as Willie welcomes Ray Charles to the Willie Nelson special. The great music continues on Thursday, the 24th, when the Oak Ridge Boys, Roseanne Cash and Charlie Daniels get together for a little country rock. It's the best in country music and more. April on TNN. Well, three brand new players, Jerry, Chrissy, and Ben. You know how we play the game? We give you 10 points for the right answer to a toss-up question, then we go to the bonus board. Today, our categories are Who's Talking, The Boys in the Band, The Clothesline, Openers, Shelly West is our star of the day. We're going to have a word from our sponsor. Don't do that. The CMA Awards and Chart Busters. One of those is The Secret Square. Take a look at that at home. You folks know what it is, but you folks sitting over here don't know what it is. Give me the right answer to The Secret Square question. When that one comes up, we'll double the amount of your wager. Two rounds, high score wins the game and a chance to be our second winner in a row to go off somewhere exotic. Am I right, Edgar? Yes, exotic, Edgar. It sure <laughs> is here. If tires hold up a car, Bill, what holds up a plane? Uh, hijacker. Oh, you've been reading oh. my mail again. <laughs> I just guessed. I know. <laughs> We've been traveling this road too long together. I can see that right now. Let's play Fandango. When I start thinking like him, I'm in a lot of trouble. All right, hands on your buttons. Ring in. I'll give you 10 points. Take a word for a set of musicians who play together. 
add the first name of a singer named Stampley, and you have the name of the musical instrument, Jerry. Banjo. You have a banjo, that's right. The band and Joe Stampley and Jerry has the first 10 points. All right, Jerry, how many of those you want to bet? I'll which bet it category? all on who's talking. We'll check out who's talking. Jerry told me during the commercial break that the hardest thing about being on this show was saying aluminum. You got it out, though, didn't you? According to the artists who had the original hits, who would be saying this to whom in our mythical conversation here? She would say, how can I unlove you? And they would say, there's no way. Shelley West to Merle Haggard. <laughs> no, how about Lynn Anderson to Alabama? Lynn Anderson had, how can I unlove you? And Alabama said, there's no way, and there's no way you can keep your points, Jerry, so we've got a scoreless game again. The title of a Loretta Lynn hit is the name of a proverbial city. What I want you to do is hit the bell and without saying anything, show me what kind of city Loretta, Jerry. This city. <laughs> Jerry got it, he held up the fist. Chrissy was all ready to do it and just didn't get the bell rung in time. All right, Jerry, you got those 10 back. Which category this time? 10 on a word from our sponsor. Okay, we have been known to sneak in a few of those from time to time. This folk singer can be seen on television these days doing commercials for Louisiana Tea. Is it John Hartford or Burl Ives? Burl Ives. Certainly has. You've been watching television, Jerry. Chrissy, hit your bell one time. Let's just make sure it works. All right, it does. You just got to hit it before the others do. This man's talent is as big as the state he comes from. Listen and tell me who this is. If you ever... Jerry. Mickey Gilly. Mickey Gilly is the right answer. All right, you're up to 30 now, Jerry. I bet uh, 20 on uh, the boys in the band. All right. True or false? Singer Justin Tubb recently put together a new act featuring four slightly chubby female instrumentalists. He calls the band the Tubbettes. Is that true or false? False. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad you didn't fall for that. That's one of the dumbest questions we ever had on here. <laughs> the Tubbettes. <laughs> the dumbest question's not counting mine, right? <laughs> true. Why, why do we sometimes call the Middle Ages the Dark Ages? Because they had so many nights. <laughs> dark ages, nights. See, see, you get the dark. Um, oh, anyway, uh, surprise prize here, Bill. Amelia Earhart, super lightweight, non-stop carry-on luggage, just casual, practical, and designed with your lifestyle in mind. Attractive luggage you can count on, non-stop by Amelia Earhart, and it goes for the next right answer. I want you to pretend that you're Willie Nelson's Latin singing partner on a 1984 number one hit. Ring in and sing me the first line of the song the way Willie's partner did. Ben. Uh, to all the girls I've loved before. With a Macon, Georgia accent. That's all right. We'll give you the point. All right, you've got 10 now. How many of those uh, you want to bet? I'll bet to 10 on the chart busters. Okay. I don't think Julio Iglesias is from Macon, Georgia, but you did all right. <laughs> Here's the song that launched the career of this singer. Listen and tell me who this is. Let's think about living. Let's think about loving. Let's think about the hooping and the humping and the bumping. Oh, no, that's the late Bob Lumen. Bob Lumen had that song called Let's Think About Living. Let's Think About Moving Right Along. The title of a recent hit by Dan Seals names a fast dance that was popular. Chrissy. Bop. Why the bop? You are right, and I knew you'd get in ahead of these old boys one of these days. All right, now you've got 10 points. I mean, um, I'll you? bet 10 on Shelly. On Shelly West? All right. I'm going to give you the titles of two of Shelley's hits. Now, I want you to tell me which one was a solo recording. Was it Another Honky Tonk Night on Broadway or Another Motel Memory? Another Motel Memory. That's right. The other one she recorded with her singing partner, David Fazer. All right, now Chrissy has some points on the board. Here's a song that was made famous years ago by Hank Lachlan, but you're going to hear a group perform this song. Listen and name this singing family. Everly Brothers? No, not the Everly Brothers. Jerry, Jerry. Foresters? No, not the Foresters. Oh, folks, that's Jim, Ed, and Maxine, and Bonnie, the Browns. And send me the pillow that you dream on. Well, let's move along. The nickname of the planet Krypton's most famous native is also the title of a Hank Williams Jr. hit. Give me that title. Jerry. Superman? Not Superman. Chrissy or Ben? Did Ben get in in time? He said you did. What were you going to say? Uh, 
<laughs> this slipped your mind, didn't yeah. it? Man of Steel. I was looking for the nickname of Superman. Man of Steel was the name of the song. Paper and pen time. Write the answer to this one. 50 points goes for every correct answer. This member of the Country Music Hall of Fame set up Nashville's first talent agency back in 1953. He helped to develop such artists as Farron Young, Ferlin Husky, and Roy Drusky. He was also a founder of the Country Music Association. Am I speaking of Art Satherly, Hubert Long, or Steve Scholes? It's one of those three. Art Satherly, Hubert Long, or Steve Scholes? Which one? And I guess I could certainly add the name Bill Anderson to that because he was a very dear friend of mine and a very important part of my career. Let me see what you put, Ben. You put Hubert Long. That is the right answer. Let's give 50 points to Ben, and he can use it. Chrissy's clapping, but I can't tell if she's clapping very enthusiastically. No, she put Art Satherly. He was one of the recording pioneers, but not in the talent agency business. Can't give you any points. Sometimes we don't always know the people behind the scenes. Jerry said Art Satherly, too. All that means is we got a closer game at the end of round one. We're going to be back and play round two of Fandango. See if we can crown a new champion right after this. Cheese. Like Colby, Swiss, and cheddar. Blend it all together for a creamy taste that melts with ease. Velveeta, 